Welcome to the third and final video in the UATTEND Time and Attendance software demonstration. Uh, so we come now to the time cards section and in time cards we can look at the employee's clockings. We just click on one here, we find that this individual has clocked on at 7.53, clocked off at 4.45 and that means they've worked, they've been here for an hour and a half, uh, sorry, eight and a half hours. We're taking off a half hour for their lunch deduction for a total of eight hours pay. Same the next day, they've clocked at 8 o'clock, they've finished at 5, so they're getting paid 8.5 hours with a half hour deduction, pays us for 8. Now some days you'll find that somebody hasn't clocked on at all, now perhaps they've been sick that day, we can edit that or add that transaction. In this case we're going to add a benefit, not just an in and an out clocking, but that benefit is going to be from our list, we're going to call that sick pay, and we're going to pay them 8 hours for that day. Save and close that, and now that person is listed as sick for Monday, and going on to Tuesday, they were in on Tuesday, but they didn't work for a full day. But once they've passed their five hours, which we looked at in the departments, uh, they still get their lunch deduction taken out. And so that's why they've worked six hours 45, and they're gonna get paid six hours 15, because lunch has been taken off. So that's all of the time cards. We can edit anything from here, change anything from here, as long as we have the permissions. If you are a supervisor, the list of employees would be limited or could be limited to only the employees that you're responsible for. Going to our reports, uh, the most used uh, report uh, based on our uh, customer's usage is the time card report and that'll show you that based on uh, by department, so in this department, the CTS office, that this person has worked 22 hours and 15 and the next one's worked 47 and a half and got an hour and a half of overtime. In another department, uh, someone else has worked 39 and a half hours. We can run that same report by employees, and so we have by the employee and then the various departments that they might have worked in. Uh, we also have the pay period report, which is just a list. It defaults to this pay period and tells us what everybody's been working in this pay period. The difference with the time card report is you can choose the date range for when you'd like to run that report for. We also have the batch report, and the batch report is like a, a dump of all of our information, and we can send that, uh, we can print it like any of our reports, we can send it to a file, and uh, we can uh, run it on the screen. Going back up, we have the average hours report, which is very useful for the stat holiday calculation. Uh, so depending on which province you're in, there are various ways of calculating stat holidays. And this report is the one that will, once you've chosen your date range, you'll then be able to find out what everybody's worked as an average over the last period and be able to pay them the amount owed to them for their stat holiday. In terms of the punch report, this is telling us not only what time somebody's clocked, but also where that clocking was received. So in this case, this clocking was done from a smartphone and it was done at this address. Uh, this clocking here was done on the time clock that we call office, whereas this clocking here was done on a computer using that IP address. And you'd have any combination of all of those used to uh, clock and uh, enter people's data. In terms of the job tracking report, well, we don't have a great deal of data in there right now, but uh, the job tracking report looks fairly similar to the time card report, but instead of being by department, it's by jobs. And so we can run those jobs by job, and we can also run them by employee, and that's what they look like. In terms of the shift report, this is just nominating the shift code, and then what hours everybody's worked on those shifts. The shift exception report tells us where there are clockings that are outside the ordinary. So when we define a regular day as 8 o'clock until 4.30 and somebody's clocking outside of those hours, it's going to print them up in red in this report. So you're really only looking at those clockings that are irregular and outside the parameters that we've already determined. The employee report is just simply a list of your employees. And then expenses and tips are again very simple, they're just a list of the expenses that you've entered and the tips that you might have entered into the system. 
and our final screen to show you is the status board and that's just showing who's in, who's out at any given time. If we were to go back to our individual and have him uh, clock on for today, so if we're going to, sorry, we're going to add a clocking, bring him back at 2 p.m. And so now he's back in at work and we go back to the status board and here he is back in the office. And so we can have a list of all of the people who are in, all of the people who are out. And the missing clockings, which we mentioned earlier, are the clockings where someone has clocked one clocking and then more than 14 hours has passed since that clocking and that's all that we have for them. And in that case, we regard that as a missing punch. And so that's something that's in red. It's something that we need to identify and somebody that's in the system. That, is, that concludes the software. That's all we needed to show you. Uh, there's a few other things in the administrator section. Uh, you do have access to changing your employee levels and um, also your payment details. And so all of that's available to you. You can also look at your invoices and you can also purchase through our online store or through the administrator menu. Uh, thank you for your time. And if you'd like to contact us, please contact us through the details which we're about to show you now. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.